In this Final Cut Pro tutorial, I'm going to show you how to easily create a cinemagraph like this. If you're not familiar with cinemagraphs, they're essentially a hybrid between a still image and a video. With the cinemagraph, you have parts of the frame that are frozen and totally motionless, like a photograph. And then you have parts of the frame that have movement, like a video. Creating a cinemagraph is a really easy thing to do in Final Cut Pro. And in this video, I'll walk you through a few examples and I'll give you four tips to help you make better cinemagraphs, including how to make your cinemagraphs loopable. Tip number one is to shoot using a tripod. You need to have a static shot where you aren't moving the camera around for this effect to work. And the reason why will become clearer in just a second when I show you how it's created. Tip number two is that you need to have two sources of movement in the frame. The reason you want to have two subjects that move is because you'll freeze one and the other one will keep moving. Like in this example, we have people, which would be subject number one, and we have the boats in the water, which would be subject number two. The reason this works is because you expect both subjects to be moving, and when one of them is frozen, you get this really cool cinemagraph effect. If you've enjoyed those two tips so far, I'd really appreciate it if you quickly hit that like button. It really helps me out so much. Let's jump into Final Cut Pro, and I'll show you how to create a cinemagraph. I have this clip here of me on a train, and then another train passes by. So I'm going to use this clip to create the cinemagraph, and what I'd like to do is freeze myself and still have the train pass by the window. The first thing I normally do is I add any effects to this clip that I want to add. In this case, I made a few color adjustments using Color Finale Pro, and I added Alex 4 ds Wide Angle Fix plugin to fix some of the distortion since this is a GoPro clip. Next, I want to duplicate this clip, and I'll do that holding down Alt and clicking and dragging to create a copy. And then I want to find the frame that I'm going to freeze. So I'll have a look here and I think right about there where I'm looking out the window looks good. So I'll select this clip and hit Shift H to create a hold frame. Then I'll use the shortcut Alt and the square bracket to trim to the beginning of that hold frame. And I'll retime this clip to fit. So I'll just drag it to the beginning and I'll drag this hold frame out. And then I'll move to the end of this clip and I'll use Alt and the other square bracket to trim that clip. So now I have a still frame on top of this clip underneath. Next, I need to add a draw mask effect. So I'll head over to my effects browser, I'll type the word draw, and I'll just drop that onto my freeze frame. I'll set my viewer here to 50% so that I have a little bit of room around the frame. And I'm just going to draw a mask right around here so that I can cut myself out of the frame. It doesn't have to be perfect, but that should be good enough. I want to add a little bit of a feather so that I don't have such hard edges on the lines of this mask. And this is what it looks like. Now let's say your camera wasn't on a tripod, but you held it really steady. Or it was on a tripod, but the wind was blowing and now you have some minor shakes. In that case, you might still be able to create a cinemagraph from that clip, but there are a few extra steps. Tip number three is to stabilize and create compound clips for shaky footage. I have this time lapse from Venice that was shot on a tripod using the GoPro. But if you look at the buildings on the left hand side, you can see as I scrub through here that it's not totally steady. It was quite windy. So that's why there is a little bit of camera shake, but it's not too bad. So what I'm going to do is select the clip, head down to stabilization, and I'm going to turn that on. Final Cut Pro will analyze the motion and then it'll attempt to stabilize that clip. And then I'm going to make sure that tripod mode is selected. If you don't see tripod mode, you might have to switch from smooth cam to inertia cam depending on your footage. But now that tripod mode selected, look how stable this clip is. Now that we've stabilized this clip, we need to create a compound clip. The reason for that is when you create the hold frame, stabilization is going to be slightly different. So your freeze frame and your video clip won't line up. So to create a compound clip, simply select the clip, hit Alt G, and I'll call this Venice. Then I'll follow the steps from before. I'll alt drag the clip to make a copy. I'll find a frame that I want to freeze on and I'll hit shift H. I'll use my alt and square bracket shortcut keys 
to retime this clip to the one underneath. And then I'm going to add a draw mask effect. So I'll search for the word draw, drop that on top. And then I'm going to draw a mask kind of along the embankment here. So let's go from here, all the way along here, along these buildings, across this side. Uh, let's go down here, along the embankment here. I'll go up the side of this building. I'll come down this pillar, across there, and then I will close the mask like that. I'll add some feathering, about 25 should do it. And if I play this back, you can see the people are moving, but the boats are now static. If you wanted it the other way around, you could invert the mask. And in that case, the boats would move and the people on either side would stay static. Lastly, let me show you how to create a looping cinema graph in Final Cut Pro. And for this one, I'm going to give you the final tip. Tip number four is to choose a subject that will loop seamlessly. You can loop pretty much any cinema graph, but if we use the example from earlier, you can see how the boats appear and disappear here. So it's pretty easy to spot the looping point. If that's what you're going for, that's totally fine. But if you want to make it look seamless, look for something that is easy to loop. If you have a time lapse, the clouds in the sky will often work quite well for looping. Looking at this example, the clouds will be really easy to loop. And to save some time, I've gone ahead and created the cinema graph already. This is what it looks like. Now to loop this clip, essentially what I need to do is I need to loop where these clouds are. So this bottom clip. First, I'm going to create a marker somewhere in the middle of the clip, and then I'm going to duplicate it using Alt, and I'm just going to drag it next to itself. Now, because this is a compound clip, I can't add a transition here. So I'm just going to shorten this clip, let's say by 12 frames, and I'm going to shorten the beginning of this clip also by 12 frames. That should give me about a second where I can create a transition. With this cut selected, I can just hit Command T and that will give me a one second long transition. Next, I'm going to use the blade tool and I'm just going to cut where these two markers are and I'm going to move this freeze frame to the beginning where this first marker is and then I can go ahead and delete these two sections. I don't need those anymore. Now, if I select these clips at the bottom, I can copy and paste them as many times as I like. I'll zoom out and you can see there's a join cut there. I'll head over to my freeze frame. I'll hit Command R to open up the speed properties and I'll just drag that whole frame out until it matches the duration of the clips at the bottom. If I play that back, we now have a seamless loop. By the way, if you like this music or you're looking for free music for your YouTube videos, then check out the link down below and get your free music from Upbeat. You can download up to 10 free tracks per month. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to create cinema graphs in Final Cut Pro, and I hope that you learned something. Don't forget to like this video and to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell before you go, and I'll catch you in the next one.